Hello everyone. Today's topic is delegation. Delegation is important in management. Right? So what is delegation? Here we start with our session. Be with us. So here we start with the definition of delegation. Delegation is the process through which the manager assigns specific tasks or duties to workers with appropriate authority to perform the job. Delegation is one of the most important methods of organizing as well as skill required for a manager. This means it is an act or method of assigning a specific task to a person or group of people. For example, when a boss assigns tasks to his employees. This is an example of delegation. Or we say delegating the work to a person, it means assigning work to a person. Mainly the word delegation we use is when the top level management, entrepreneurs or managers assign any work to a person for the organization to run organizational work or a business smoothly. Now we will see the purposes of delegation, why it is helpful, right? The first one is assigning routine task. It helps to distribute the work needed to complete for an organization. Second is problem solving. Because effective delegation solves many problems of the organization, right? Third is changes in the emphasis of a nurse manager's own job requirement. It means it brings changes, right? To improve the manager's job requirements so that manager can learn more and improve the delegating skills day by day. Fourth one, capability building. It helps the manager to assign tasks and build his or her capabilities and also the person to whom task is assigned develops their capacities. The fifth one, assigning tasks for which the nurse manager does not have time. It means sometimes circumstances comes that manager is overburdened or in the times of any emergency when manager don't have enough time to look after the task. This assigning the task to people, right, helps to achieve his goals. Therefore, it is said, smart management is in the delegating the task effectively, which saves your time. Now, the most important topic is principles of delegation, right? It means, as a manager, while delegating the task, you need to keep in mind these things. Number one, select the right person to whom the job is to be delegated. Right person for right kind of work. If we assign the task to the unskilled person who knows very less about that task, results you in failure. Right? Next is delegate both interesting and uninteresting tasks. To your employees, assign both type of tasks so that they get interest, motivation and tries to improve uninteresting tasks too. Third is provide subordinates with enough time to learn. It happens sometimes that your subordinate finds difficult to complete your task. Never give too much complicated tasks for short duration. Let your employees have sufficient time to learn and complete that task. The fourth point, delegate gradually. It means assign slowly. Don't ever put your employees in with overburdened task. Give one by one slowly. Fifth is delegate in advance. Assign your task in advance so that your employee can have time to think and act. Sixth, consult before delegating. 
you should obviously consult the task to your management subordinates for any changes or any kind of improvement seventh avoid ga- gaps and overlaps this is important point managers should not do mistakes in delegating the task because many times one order becomes overlap if he passes the task to two persons or group or many times we forget few tasks to delegate which results in gaps in organizational work so it can create a problem so these are the principles we should keep in mind before delegating right now here we go with the types of delegation so in management there are different different types of delegation it's like formal and informal specific and general right so here we will talk about the formal delegation and informal delegation formal delegation this is found in the exercise of authority defined by an organized organization's rule right formal delegation is a part of organizational structure whenever manager gives a task to a person he gives him the authority to fulfill the task right where it is in the informal delegation it occurs because people wanted to do something apart from what they are told to do right it means here manager is not giving the authority to a person to do the task he himself decides to do as he feels it is necessary to do his normal work in the organization right so this is the way of informal delegation understand so here one more interesting topic is prerequisites for effective delegation the process of delegation is an art so the delegator has to prepare himself for the following criteria before delegation which are those criteria he should create good organizational climate second clarity in objectives and goals of work to be done responsibility and authority for every work to be assigned fourth is motivation for delegators and delegates fifth schedule training for everybody sixth effective controlling over organizational work so here is the topic job rotation in nursing how nurses are working in different different varieties of the departments right nurses work with a variety of settings to provide quality patient care the nursing care need not to be only in the hospital setup right nurses also work in the community centers polyclinics schools offices industries or military services etc apart from this she also works in the different departments like inpatient department outpatient department emergency care unit intensive care unit operation theaters dialysis unit burns unit right rehabilitation unit mental health centers maternal child health centers pediatric health center in a hospital setting a nurse works with different wards too as listed here neuromedical and surgical wards cardiac medical and surgical wards cardio thoracic units general medical wards general surgical wards renal wards orthopedic wards obstetric and gynecological wards plastic surgery wards ophthalmic wards ent wards and isolation wards here there is different different departments where nurses are working moreover there are different intensive care units where the nurses are given job rotation it's like where medical intensive care unit surgical intensive care unit coronary care unit cardio thoracic intensive care unit neurosurgical intensive care unit 
neonatal intensive care unit step down icu etc these are the different departments right we have seen the job rotation for the nurses in different different departments what is the need of that what is the benefits right first is to enhance work performance second is promote responsibility in employees third it gives more knowledge and skill about different settings and task fourth it improves confidence to carry out the duties and assignments fifth it helps to bring familiar with the settings and in the orientation of the departmental works so these are the benefits of job rotation right we are rotating the nurses in the different departments so here we are ending with our topic delegation right which is very very important now if you like this video and want to learn more then like it and subscribe it thank you